So we arrive at module three. Before we get started, just a quick one again. Have you got your tools? So the tools for this module is my get to it plan and my habit chain. Again, if you've got them printed off, that's great. If not, you've got them on your laptop or your iPad. They can be used electronically, no problem. Or if you just wanna go watch the videos and then come back to it later, that's a great way of approaching the course as well. Let's just do a little recap. You know I like to recap because we get, this is works in stages. So module one, look to yourself, all about our thinking, all about our self-awareness, having a true understanding that our thoughts lead to feelings, lead to our actions, which will end up leading to our results. Building a skill, this skill of self-awareness, so important, this is where it starts. Once you're aware, you can change. It's that first step. So what am I thinking? Why am I thinking that way? Why am I feeling this way? What am I doing to create this feeling? Really powerful stuff when we start to look to ourselves. Then the self-taught, the dialogue, the words we use. I choose to think this way. I want to do this. I want to get up half hour early and walk around the block or take half an hour reading my book or watching some motivational videos. This self-talk. So you start to really formulate this structure around your thinking and your self-talk. So that was the inward approach. Then we went to the outward approach, the necessity of aims. Now we've sort of secured our foundations, we can start to work towards something. And the priorities in our life, the, the priority were what a, what a fantastic tool to step back and really ask yourself, what are the priorities? How well am I doing in those priorities? Is that acceptable? And then taking those little steps, those point two steps around that little goal and the actions you can take. But the important thing was the why. We get sometimes so transfixed with the end goal, the want from it, because you get the reward. But what is the why? The why will bring the how. The why will give the motivation, the drive, sometimes the obsession then the actions and you will take the sacrifice needed to do the actions you know getting up in the morning not going out with friends because your why is so strong i was talking to somebody a couple of days ago and we just started talking about aims and their necessity of aims and they were really interested and he just said my why is for my family and to see my kids grow up and have a great education and all the possibilities that's, and opportunities that's like presented to them. And I thought, wow, that's a, that's a really strong why for doing it for other people as well. But also then I talked to him about doing it for self, about this appreciation and achievement. And he, he sort of agreed to that as well. So working towards something, what's necessary? I think that's the question from that module is, is this necessary? Is it, if it is, what's the why and then the how will appear? But then writing it down, that thinking on paper, formulating your plan, know where you're going, bringing that future into your reality. Such a powerful concept and it's one thing we can do as human beings is for our imagination, we go to the future that we want, that we desire and then we can bring it back into our reality and start to formulate a plan but also about that future that we don't want and we want to keep away from and we want to avoid is so important as well so lots to think about state buttons the mirrors outline the necessary you've got the priority wheel lots of tools again please don't forget to teach them if you feel confident and there's people around you that you know that would benefit from them and then put them up see them that's the key to it all I have them, like I said, in my spare room, they're up, I'm constantly seeing, even if I just walk by them in the morning, it catches my eye and it starts to bring things together and gives me this structure and this, this um, kind of approach of life that brings a lot of control, really, which then stops me from worrying, anxiety, and when these things come forth, this adversity, these challenges, I'm more prepared. I've got that resilience because I'm starting to use these techniques and these tools. So, module three. What a great module. This is around habitual consistency. 
This is the apply bit. Again, this is the practitioner bit. We've done a lot of theory, we've got a lot of tools, but how do we consistently start to make things happen? And this is the challenge. This is a real challenging one because a lot of this is around self-discipline and also making some sacrifices and edging out of our comfort zone. You know, we're designed, you know, our brain is designed to keep us safe and it's keep us secure. That's one of its primary objectives. And in doing so, it can keep us in our comfort zones. It doesn't like to push us to our limits. It's there for a reason, to keep us away from danger. But our society has changed, but that part of our brain hasn't. So it's still there and it wants to keep us safe and secure. But now our society has changed and we've got other opportunities now to really start to push our limits where there is no danger apart from the danger we apply on ourselves for our imagination a lot of the time. So this module is around building a discipline, building habitual consistency, I call it. And the tools, these tools are great because these are daily tools. These are things that you can apply every day and they can really start to formulate that discipline, what I call that self-discipline, which is so hard, but also start to understand the sacrifices you make, but also the achievements that you can achieve and also the review of the things that you don't achieve. So if you've got your learning capture sheets, I'll talk you through the principles and the why of the framing of this module. And then the next video, we're gonna go straight into the get to it plan and I'll talk you through that. So we become what we practice, consistent practice, applied every day. That's the thing. That's when we're gonna talk about Discipline is this application and practice of doing something, whatever that something is, every day. And we start to build this resilience and we start to build this resolve. But we become what we practice. Think about these great sports people. They become great like super athletes and gold medal winners because they practice a discipline every single day. Think about the teachers of the world and the nurses and the doctors and all these great people. They practice things every day and they become like superstars at what they do. And it's this constant practice, but like the priority wheel, it's these little steps that are so important. And they accumulate, again, this law of accumulation, they accumulate into big things in the end, just believe in the process. Apply a discipline. This is a, a concept that I use and I talk to myself. What discipline am I applying today, John? Is it the getting up early? Is it the getting up before eight o'clock? Is it the going to bed before 10 o'clock? Is it the two glasses of water? Is it the walk around the block? Apply a discipline, a consistent discipline. You choose what it is. You can choose what you can handle. Everybody's in a different situation and everybody has their challenges to face. So think about this. What is a discipline that you can apply that you know that you can handle? I think that's the key thing. What's the little step? So you might say to yourself, right, next week, I'm going to get up before eight o'clock in the morning. Next week, I'm going to switch the television off at nine o'clock. Next week, I'm not going to look at social media after nine o'clock. You apply a discipline, something that will challenge you though, something that's not going to be easy, that will nudge your limits, that will take you to the edge of your comfort zone. Not going full out of it, practice it, start slow, use the process. There is a saying that I use again, self-talk, you know how big I am on self-talk, I think it's such a powerful thing and it's quite instant. Attend to your day. They're four words that I say to myself sometimes. When I'm feeling a little bit down or tired or I'm pressing my buttons, John, attend to your day. You know what your plan is. You know the habits that you want to adopt. Attend to your day. So something I'd like you to think about, how are you attending to your day? What does that look like? Why are you doing it? Everybody's got different days. But what is yours going to look like if you attended to it? And then what would it look like at the end of the day when you put that day up for review? Build your chain. And we're going to talk about this on the habit chain. But I'm a very big believer in chains. 
strengthening your chains link by link, day by day. And this is a process. Apply a process. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's drinking a glass of water every morning, that's a chain. You're working on something and through it, you start to build this self-discipline. You start to build your self-reliance, your self-esteem, your confidence comes in because you're working at something, you're progressing to it. And some days are going to be hard. Watch the buttons. Don't justify why you can have a day off because you've done three or four days already. Watch that button. You're better than that. I'm taking responsibility. I'm building this chain because this chain is going to result to my self-discipline, which will give me fortitude, which will help me cope with any kind of adversity that might come to my door. So this is really powerful, this habitual consistency. Make it a habit. Consistency is my habit. What a great sort of personal statement to say. And again, the power words, I love the power words, you know, it's things that you can say to yourself, especially when you're having a bit of a wobble. Today, I will. It's a simple one. I get up and I say those three words. Today, I will, and then make a commitment. And the word commitment is quite an interesting word if you start to use it in your self-talk because you can't escape from a commitment, a personal commitment. It just brings so much me more meaning. And it could be very simple. Today I will, 10 minutes reading. Today I will have more time with my family. Today I will eat better food. Today I will walk around the block. You make the choice. That's the key thing. You make a statement to yourself. I will. Today I will make my bed. It doesn't matter what it is. It makes a commitment. And it's so powerful. Because you start the day with a great intention. Because the I will intention is just sets you to action. It gets you moving a progression. But it's also a view at the end of the day. How, did you do the I will? Did you, did you make it into I have? That's a, that's a key thing. I will is the start of the day. I have is a review at the end of the day. So tomorrow, start the day with I will and then make an intention. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't make it too big. Little step. And at the end of the day, I have. And you will feel so much better. And you'll start maybe to build this as a chain and a habit. And then all of a sudden, it can empower you. So... Lots to think about, guys. Lots to recap on the first two videos and start to immerse yourself into this module about habitual consistency, the application. Great intentions, but we've got to start applying it and building chains and building this self-discipline. Thank you so much for your time, your energy and your focus. And I'll see you on the next video where we're going to introduce the Get To It plan. Thank you.